Hi, 496. I'm not looking forward to chemo tomorrow. Uh, it's, you know, I never had a chance to really come out of this one. Um, it, I have a lot to tell the doctor. You know, I had a little neuropathy going on in my thumb. I definitely had a little bit going on in my tongue. Weird, because he didn't say anything about that. That was the last one. But whatever. I don't know. Oh, Matthew's home. Um, let's say hi. Hi, handsome. Hi, baby. Look who's here. Hi. <laughs> Did I interrupt your vlog? <laughs> yes. Sorry about that. That's okay. Hi, everybody. So, what do you have to say? Anything new, special, exciting about me? <laughs> yeah. You're the love of my life. Oh. I love you. Ah, I love you. you. Look good. I like your short hair. It's cute. cute. It's fun. Really yeah, cute. it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Makes me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> glad you had a good day. Thank you. Good to be home. <laughs> love you, love you. Love you too. Sorry. <laughs> Lucky me. Um, so, I totally forgot what I was talking about. Not that it matters. Um, I'm just trying to keep you abreast of my uh, side effects. That's what I was talking about, my side effects. Um, I just still don't feel well, but I guess that's just par for the course. I know. Let's kill this freaking cancer. Ugh. So frustrating. Um, and I'd like to kill it without, like, killing me in in the process you know right now i went for a hike with um vaughn and nico today and i can't hike i'm fit i'm freaking physically fit and we're hiking you know it was a little steep what 10 minutes and i just went <sighs> i'm like i'm gonna go get the car and i'll you guys go hike 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 I'll get the car and I'll meet you at the top. I just can't do it. I, this is just not me. This is not good. So that's what I'm talking about. I don't want this affecting me, but I'm on chemo. Fine. I get it. I'll deal with it. It's going to suck to not have this. Whatever. We just got to kill the freaking cancer. I know this. So Matthew's looking for new alternatives every day. Looking, looking, looking. So I'll let you know if you find something fabulous, clinical trial, new hospital. I don't know. So um, life's been, you know, what it's been. I literally stayed in my bathrobe all day yesterday until about five. And I just went, I have got to go to my horse. He needs his meds. I need to get out of my head. And I did, and it was great to see him. But he's limping like crazy. But he's really limping. You want to know why? Because the day prior, which was Monday, um, I went to the ranch middle of the afternoon. And uh, I wanted to show everybody my hair cut. <laughs> and I wanted to give Indy love and his meds and all that good stuff. Anyway, my girlfriend, Susanna, showed up with uh, her horse trailer. Indy loves horse trailers. And... Um, you know, she parked it right in front, you know, and I just happened to be walking him around or limping him around and she had opened the back, you know, cause she's getting it ready. She's going to bring her horse and they were just going to go to Paramount Ranch, which is literally four miles away, five miles away. Um, just a new spot just to go check it out, see what's going on. And she's like, you want to come? And I'm like, I'd love to, but no. Well, I'm, I, you know, unless I can just walk him while you go for a ride, I'll just walk him in a circle or, you know, we can just hang out. And, um, anyway, so I had said no, uh, but she left the trailer open and she did something out, you know, behind the trailer and Andy goes, cool. And he jumps in like a dog, like a dog would somebody's, you know, car. And I'm like, oh, Andy, you're so freaking cute. I mean, that's how much he likes trailers. So, so cute. I'm like, come on, let's go, come on out. And he was just like, oh, bummer. And he goes out and now he's just like, I wanna go. And he's high, 
high as a kite and he's prancing on the street and he's like all excited and I'm like this he's lame he he's on adrenaline right now so I know him and um he's just he's so excited like I said he gets really excited around trailers so cute oh you guys oh. anyway uh long story short she comes around with Prince which is Indy's next door neighbor they love each other and I'm just walking with them and you know she loads Prince in the trailer and Indy's like what about me and he hops in the trailer again I said okay looks like I'm going with you to Paramount Ranch so um Indy had the opportunity to go for a little trailer ride which made his day and we get to Paramount Ranch and Susanna's like I'm not gonna ride I'm gonna I'm gonna be with you if, we're, if you're gonna be here this is too much fun so we took them both for just a, a hand walk around and checked out the area and you know um there were some rocks and he was just then he was like oh oh and then he starts limping and I'm like of course you're limping you're you're lame I know this about you, but it gets so excited as we all do our adrenaline pumps into our body and we can't feel what, what's really there. I know the story. Anyway, um, so hence we get home and he looks down at the ground, you know, cause it was a step up trailer and he looked down and he's just like, oh, this is going to hurt my foot. <laughs> now he's in pain. And he literally, he did something I'd never seen before. He put all his weight in his back feet and he literally, he like hopped out with both feet together and landed with both feet together. So he didn't have to apply any amount of pressure on either, you know, leg because he was afraid it was going to hurt his foot. So he like kind of really slowly boom, and he landed with both feet on the ground. Both Susanna. Oh my God. I can't believe you just said that. So anyway, that was my long story short. Of course he's lame. <laughs> he's like, he's totally lame today because he was so active and falsely, <sighs> but he's so cute. Um, anyway, and I was with all, all my girlfriends today from book club and we had a bit of a luncheon party and, you know, I, Oh, it was, it was hard to want to go, but once I'm there, then I can focus on smiling and being with people and listening to stories and talking and da, 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 da. And was I feeling good? Not really, <laughs> but it was really good to be there and it was a full day. So it was really, really great. Um, but like I said, then the end of the day was with hiking with Vonda Nico and I just kind of went, now I'm not feeling so well, got home and I was just like, I need my drugs. I need, I need to take my drugs. I had forgotten. I hadn't taken them. So, uh, that's my bad. Not that, not that I'm on the same kind of pills. So I don't have this regimen of taking them every five hours. Um, but I should have stayed with the ibuprofen you know, to take that five hours because I was hurting when I really went and got home. <clears throat> and, um, just what it is. So I go to chemo again tomorrow. Wish me luck. Hesitant. Have to do it. Gonna do it. Or gonna kick this thing. But yeah, it's kicking my butt. I'm not enjoying that part. Mm. Okay, I've caught you up on everything. Um, that's it. I love you. I love me. I will get back when I know more and I can tell you more and hopefully I won't be in pain and complaining. Hate that part. But it's kind of funny in a weird way. It's just so out there. It's so weird what I'm going through. It's hard to imagine. Just hard. It's just hard to understand. Doesn't make no makes no sense. Okay. Um, I love you. I love me. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.